Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn Nursing Easy. If you are the first time watching my video, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification button and stay tuned. Today let us see a nursing care plan on syphilis. Syphilis is an infection which is caused by treponema pallidum and it is a sexually transmitted infection. So when there is syphilis, patient will have warts, can create sores and rash which will cause discomfort so i made a diagnosis impact comfort related to ulceration or inflammation and excoriation in the gentalia secondly to sexually transmitted infection our goal is to provide comfort intervention will be assessing the cause precipitating factors intensity quality and severity of pain so based on that we can provide intervention monitor the pain score regularly so that according to the severity of pain we can provide treatment advise the client to wash the genitals with water and dry them so the teaching and irritation can be prevented and smoothening agents like emollients or oils can be given in order to soothe the area and psychological support should be provided so this will enhance comfort and calm and conducive environment should be provided and all distractions in the client's surroundings should be avoided so this will induce sleep and prevent restlessness okay advise a client not to scratch the lesion so this will prevent skin breakdown and tell the client to take adequate bed rest in order to induce sleep and provide comfort and CISPAC can be given in order to soothe the perineal area. Okay, advise the client to avoid sexual contact until the infection is completely treated and topical penicillin antibiotics can be given in order to heal the rashes and antimicrobial agents can be administered in order to treat the infection. Antipyretics and paracetamol can be given in order to treat fever, relieve pain and provide comfort and tell the client to abstain from multiple sex partners and use protective barrier devices while having sex so this will prevent transmission of infection. In evaluation you have to see whether client comfort was gained. Next when patient is having syphilis there will be warts, lesions in the body which can Impair the tissue integrity, cyanide so diagnosis, impair tissue integrity related to latent infection leading to rash and water like source in the trunk and extremities. Our goal is to maintain an intact tissue integrity. So in intervention, we will be assessing the locate type and extent of impact tissue integrity so that according to that we can provide intervention. And you have to monitor the source wards closely and identify the body parts that are affected so that we can identify in which stage of syphilis is patient is there and provide appropriate intervention. Closely monitor the client for presence of latent infection so that we can early diagnose the complications and treat them. And you have to monitor vital signs, ECG and neurological status of the client. So this will identify the hemodynamic status of the client and also the spread of infection. And comfortable bed without trinkles should be given and adequate bed rest should be provided. So this will aid in healing and prevent further infection. We have to cut short the nails of the patient in order to prevent scratching of the sores and uh, skin breakdown and teach the client about personal hygiene and advise the client to use alkaline based soaps to clean the skin so this will prevent irritation itching. Topical emollients are oily supplied on the sores in order to heal them and tell the client to abstain from sex and avoid multiple sexual partners in order to prevent transmission of infection. And if there is big lesions and excoriation, then dressing has to be done with aseptic technique. Okay, psychological support should be provided and advise the client to take medications regularly in order to aid in healing. Topical antibiotics are applied in order to heal the warts and rash and improve the tissue integrity. And antimicrobial agents are administered in order to treat in syphilis infection and improve the tissue integrity. Okay, in evaluation, you have to see whether the infection was healed and the tissue integrity was intact. And next patients with uh, syphilis, they will have fever, night nice sweats and chills. So I made a diagnosis, ineffective thermoregulation, hypothermia related to activation of immune system and inflammatory process secondary to invasion of microorganism. Our goal is to maintain a normal body temperature in intervention. We will be monitoring the vital signs regularly so that according to the degree of fever, we can provide intervention. Well ventilated room should be given in order to promote heat loss. Cold compress and tepid sponging are given in order to promote heat loss. Advise the client to drink plenty of oral fluids in order to prevent dehydration and decrease body temperature. Identify the presence of warts, rashes and excoriations and provide dressing as needed so this will prevent spread of infection. 
oral hygiene should be given in order to prevent bad odors in the mouth and also mouth dryness advise the client to follow contact precautions in order to prevent cross infection and tell the client to abstain from sexual relationships and avoid multiple sexual partners until the infection is healed so this will prevent transmission of infection instruct the client's partner also to undergo video oral screening test for early detection and treatment of infection teach about hygienic practices and tell the client to follow aseptic precautions while handling the lesion so this will prevent transmission of infection and tell the client to avoid scratching on the lesion so this will aid in healing and reduce the body temperature he advise the client to take adequate bed rest so this will induce sleep and reduce fever administer eye fluids as prescribed in order to hydrate the client antipyretics is administered in order to treat fever antimicrobial agents are administered in order to treat infection and thereby reduce the fever evaluation you have to see whether client temperature was normal okay next patients with syphilis can progress to neurosyphilis i made a diagnosis risk for latent or neurosyphilis related to progression of infection secondary to irregular treatment and follow up care our goal is to prevent the neurosyphilis so in evaluation you will be assessing the location severity and extent of lesion so that we can identify the spread of infection to other body parts palpate the lymph nodes for swelling pain and tenderness so that we can identify the various lymph nodes that are involved and neurological examination should be done in order to identify the neurosyphilis complications and vital signs and culture report should be monitored so this will identify the presence of infection we advise the client to abstain from sex until the lesions are healed and negative culture reports come so this will prevent transmission of infection and strictly advise the client to avoid multiple sex partners in order to prevent complications advise the client to use barrier devices so this will prevent transmission of infection and we have to administer penicillin in order to treat the syphilis infection the oral probenicid is administered in order to treat syphilis infection advise the client to follow the drug regimen and complete the course of antimicrobial treatment so this will aid in effective treatment and prevent complications we advise the client to come for follow up test so that we can identify whether syphilis infection is completely treated and provide sexual education sexual and genetic counseling to the client and the partner so this will help in to prevent the transmission of infection in evaluation we have to see whether client prevented neurosyphilis next patients with uh, syphilis infection they will be having muscle ache arthralgia and weakness and fatigue so i made a diagnosis fatigue related to the infectious process and hypermetabolic state of the body second to fever and decreased energy our goal is to relieve the fatigue in intervention we'll be assessing the cause of fatigue and client's ability to perform activity according to that we can provide intervention and monitor for signs and symptoms of infection and vital signs regularly so this will help to identify the complications and provide appropriate intervention and provide emotional support for the client so this will enhance comfort and relieve fatigue encourage the client to schedule activity and rest periods adequately so this will gain energy to perform activity as a client to abstain from sexual relationship and avoid multiple sexual partners until the infection is healed so this will prevent energy loss and relieve fatigue and tell the client to avoid strenuous activities in order to prevent energy loss and okay, advise the client to take balanced nutrition as needed so this will increase the energy levels educate on energy conserving techniques and proper body mechanics in performing routine activities and avoid over exertion so this will relieve fatigue Okay, administer multivitamin and mineral supplements so this will increase energy production. Okay, provide adequate bed rest and restrict environmental stimuli so this will prevent fatigue and encourage to follow regular exercise, improve activity tolerance and antipyretics is administered in order to relieve fever and improve activity and topical ointment should be applied in order to treat the sores and antibiotics are administered in order to treat the infection. in evaluation you have to see whether client's fatigue was relieved the final diagnosis is deficient knowledge regarding the prognosis duration of treatment and home care management our goal is to provide knowledge so in intervention we'll be assessing the client's ability to understand instruction and client's own language we have to provide instruction 
and tell the client about the importance of sexual health so this will prevent transmission of infection give education about the drug and its side effects so that client will prevent the side effects instruct the need for screening test for clients close partner so that we can identify the infection in the close partner and also treat them and educate the client on complications of neurosyphilis and, and advise the client to come for regular follow-up in order to prevent further infection and teach the client about the signs and symptoms of neurosyphilis and advise the client to come to the hospital if these symptoms occur and advise the client to drink plenty of fluids in order to maintain proper hydration and also aid in healing of the wound. We have to teach on nutritional therapy in order to improve the nutritional status of the client and include family members in teaching for complete recovery. Psychological support should be provided and tell the client to strictly adhere to the treatment in order to comply with treatment protocol and teach about the importance of hygiene and also to keep the wards and sores clean in order to prevent infection and educate on sexual health and sexual counseling and also to follow healthy lifestyle behavior so this will prevent further syphilis infection in evaluation you have to see whether client gain knowledge i hope you have understood my class thank you for listening please like share subscribe and click the notification button and stay tuned